Hey, my name is attorney Walter Rufnot the third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA, an Orlando-based law firm. Let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to ask a question and then answer. It's about disability. What do I do if I got a denial in Social Security disability at the hearing level? Meaning the ALJ just didn't like me and I got a denial. I didn't meet equal or exceed a listing, didn't you know complete the five step sequential process, yada yada yada. What do I do? if I got a denial at the administrative law judge hearing level. Okay, what that means is that basically you have two options at that point. You can either file a 520 SSA, or it's actually an HA 520 form, which is an appeal document. It's an intent form. It allows the SSA to know your intent that you want to go ahead, go forward and appeal. The thing that needs to accompany that is also a brief as to why you feel the judge made an error as to law or fact. Or option B or option two, would be to go ahead and refile. Refiling means you lose all your back pay. Filing an appeal means that basically you want to keep your back pay, keep it rolling, and have an AAJ as opposed to just an ALJ review your claim. AAJ, Appellate Administrative Judge. ALJ, Administrative Law Judge. You get to see the ALJs in trial. You just came from that, you got denied. AAJ, you don't see those. Imagine, you know, a big building, federal building, and those judges go ahead and review your documentation, what the judge did, yada, yada, yada. So when it comes down to writing one of those briefs, um, there is a lot of um, detailed, um, you know, federal statutes, the HALEX, the POMs, all this stuff, the opinions, all that stuff. So if you're going to appeal to appeals counsel, if you haven't had an attorney yet, then you would be, I don't want to say crazy, but you would be very misled to try and write an appeals counsel brief on your own. That would be a bad idea. That would be a very bad idea. What you want to do is decide. Do you want to go ahead and wait 12 months for the appeals counsel to basically review your claim and then make a decision based upon uh, the error of the judge? Or do you want to go ahead and file again and try and obtain benefits through the initial filing reconsideration or a new administrative law judge hearing? Um, I'm going to answer a question that's important in the next video pertaining to judges. Are all administrative law judges the same? And you should probably watch that video because it may push you one way or the other way when it comes to refiling or filing an appeal to the Appeals Council. All right. My name is Attorney Walter Roof, not the third. You have an absolutely wonderful day, and I'll catch up with you later. Remember, by the time you watch this video, the information may in fact be old hat. That's number one. Number two, remember... Uh, if you have a unique question for your unique claim, give me a call. We'll walk you through it and get everything rolling. All right. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day, and we'll go from there. All righty. Bye-bye.